All right, I'm Joe Sova. I own Ideal Payroll Service and I host the Ideal Small Biz Podcast. And we're here to support local business. That's the, the purpose of this show right now and to bring awareness to local businesses so that we can support them, especially during this challenging time that we're all going through. Uh, we call this the Ideal Small Biz of the Day. So uh, today we have with us Sean Williams of Coldstone Creamery, who is the Ideal Small Business of the Day today. So Sean, welcome. Thanks for being here. Hi, Joe. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's kind of start with the basics. Give us a little of your background. Why don't you give us, uh, again, your company name and the products or services you provide, Sean? Sure. Happy to. So Cold Stone Creamery, the uh, ultimate ice cream experience. Uh, we have five uh, convenient locations in Omaha. Is it okay if I list those off now, Joe? Please do. That's why we're here. Absolutely. <laughs> great. Great. Uh, Village Point there, 168th and Dodge. Um, Midtown Crossing, 33rd and Farnham. Uh, La Vista in there by Cabela's and Costco. We have one in uh, on the corner of 120th and Blondo. And then our newest one we just opened last fall in Exarban Village, uh, right next to the movie theater there. So the locations spread out all over town. Awesome. Five locations. So you've got a good, good footprint in the area. Uh, so wherever somebody's at, they can uh, stop in and, and get some uh, quality premium ice cream. Um, when did you get started in the business, Sean? How long ago was that? I have been uh, the owner for about four years now, I guess. Okay. All right. So, yeah. so you're into it. Um, you know, why, why did you choose ice cream, Sean? Why do you do what you do every day? That's a great question. Um, well, I'll take you way back uh, coming out. My, my degree uh, from college is accounting, and I'm actually a CPA uh, way back in my uh, prior life. So I did stints in uh, public accounting and corporate finance at uh, big companies like Union Pacific and uh, TD Ameritrade. And uh, somewhere along that journey uh, realized that I, I was not going to be a corporate guy my whole life and uh, wanted to open my own own my own business um, did not know what that was you know I didn't have an idea for a new mousetrap kind of thing but I knew I wanted to be in, in control of my own destiny so I researched a bunch of franchises uh, with a theory that it's a proven business model that you can just you know take and own and run yourself uh, so I left uh, the, the quote safety of the corporate world to open up a franchise called uh, Bounce You, which was a uh, kid's birthday party place full of giant inflatable equipment. And also I, another oh, local oh, business, right? Correct. Correct. Uh, so I actually brought that to Omaha. Uh, we were the first to market. We were, we were here before any of the other inflatable places or trampoline places. Uh, uh, we were here. Uh, so I had a 10-year franchise agreement on that. I owned and operated it for nine years. And I was, as I was coming to the end there, you know, I had to make a decision if I wanted to renew uh, or to try something new. Um, the, the business was uh, doing well financially. I had a good asset there and I was uh, really ready to climb a new mountain. So, uh, so I sold that business um, without, uh, without knowing where I was going from there. <laughs> So I took uh, literally six months uh, and did due diligence that whole time. I looked at, I, I bet I looked at 50 different businesses uh, available to buy in any industry. I didn't, I didn't limit myself uh, to anything. Um, thankful I have that accounting background because I, you know, when I see a P&L, I can pretty quickly see if it was a business that I was interested in. Um, and, you know, I had, I had some, uh, I guess, some parameter I wanted to work with, and I, I wanted to have something that I'm, uh, you know, proud to be associated with that I can, my, um, my kids, you know, I can tell my kids about it. So I had to be a, a good industry and a respectable industry in that way. Uh, and, but I also wanted uh, something with growth, growth potential. So uh, the Cold Stone opportunity came across my plate. Uh, at the time, there were three stores that I bought, and they were all, this is where the growth potential came in, they were all Dodge Street North. So, you know, in my mind, that's like half of Omaha was available uh, for growth, anything south of Dodge Street. So, so I purchased the three, um, and then uh, 
I uh, spent the first year or so that I owned them actually in the store, you know, making ice cream, scooping ice cream. Uh, I, I know every nut and bolt of the, I got my hands dirty for a year, uh, ran the stores. I was there. Um, cause I believe you have to do that. Uh, but then I sort of took a step back and the way I run my stores now is sorry, my phone's ringing. <laughs> That's all right. That's real life. So no worries. <laughs> uh, uh, I have a GM in each store who runs the day-to-day operations of each store. So, uh, so I took that step back. I put a GM in each store and I focused on growth. So um, we found the location in La Vista, uh, built, that, uh, built that one out. Uh, once that one was stable and up and running, uh, I kept looking and then we found the location uh, in Exarbon. So nice. that's how uh, we went from three to five. And that's I'm, awesome. I'm, I'm sort of got my eye open for uh, whatever the next growth opportunity is going to be. Now, Sean, I noticed uh, you said you got your hands dirty, but you didn't mention that you ate any ice cream. So I, I'm, I'm just going to assume that you did while you're in there. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can't have a skinny guy, you know, owning ice cream. Shop <laughs> right, still, so, right. Yeah. Hey, I see the wage machine in the back, you know, so at right. least you're working it on. So that's good. But um, so with what you do, Sean, you know, ice cream, uh, and, and what your product is amazing. I've had it and, and it's awesome Thank and my you. kids love it. Uh, but maybe tell in your own words, you know, what makes cold stone unique versus, you know, getting some out of the grocery freezer or something like that. What makes it different? What makes you unique? Sure. A couple things, Joe. Uh, first of all, all of our ice cream is made in our stores in small batches. So, uh, a lot of our competitors can't say that. They definitely can't say that from ice cream that you buy in the store. You know, one of our favorite jokes is friends don't let friends eat grocery store ice cream. Because <laughs> so, you don't know how long ago that stuff was made or where it was made. All of our stuff, like I said, made in small batches right there in the store with the, the highest uh, quality ingredients. So that's really um, our... I guess our competitive advantage, we're competing on quality. Uh, we're not the cheapest place in town and we don't want to be, but uh, it's, it's all about quality when you come into our store. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's it. That's a theme uh, among a lot of local small businesses that the way to differentiate yourself is that quality. And, and it's true, yeah. you know, your product does stand above and beyond what else is out yeah. there. Um, what's the best way, Sean, for viewers to help you and support you locally during this time? What's the best way they can help you? Well, a couple of things, Joe, and I, I'm glad you mentioned the word local because uh, I totally support local. But some people think because we're a franchise, we're not local. Um, and I would disagree with that. Yeah, we're part of a, a national franchise, but I, you couldn't be anymore. I'm born and raised in Omaha. I've lived here my entire life. High school, I went to Creighton. I've been here, you know, my kids are here, my family's here. I'm a local guy. I've got 100 employees in Omaha that are all local people. So when you come into a Cold Stone, you are uh, buying local. So uh, thank you for doing that. Um, during this, uh, during the Corona thing, uh, obviously our uh, lobbies are closed, but we are open. Uh, we are available for takeout. And you can order any of our stuff online. And then we partner with all of the major uh, food delivery services, DoorDash, Grubhub, Postmates, and Uber Eats. So uh, some people don't think that uh, ice cream can really be delivered, but you'd be surprised. We, uh, we it, you know, it's frozen when it leaves and they put it in those thermal bag kind of things and it's going to get to you uh, pretty quickly. So yes, ice cream can be delivered. Awesome. Awesome. So if you're, if you're stuck inside like we all are and uh, yeah, right. just need, have, have that craving, get that ice cream delivered. Or you said you're doing curbside pickup as well. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yep. absolutely. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's, that's important. And just to piggyback on what you said, you know, your local, your locally owned franchise, I think a lot of people might think uh, there's a national chain out there and, and something like, you know, an Applebee's or something like that might be a national chain mm -hmm. uh, owned elsewhere. But you, Cold Stone, you're lo right here, local owned. Let's support you and what you're doing, right? Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. 
Perfect. Well, Sean, congrats on being the ideal small biz of the day. I'm glad you're able to join us here. Uh, if if anybody is out there listening, if you're viewing this, um, you know th this is this is really important for all of us to support local, support Sean's business, support any local business that you can. Uh, so share this out there. Share on social media. Share on your email with your contacts. Whatever it is, let's let's flood his store. Let's get people in there, uh, and, and we'll work together to get past this. So, Sean, thanks again for being on, and congrats again. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it.